Tuesday. All day long. All day long. Doesn't he look cute? You got the little counters yeah, oh. away. Well, hello everyone. Sorry, I kind of popped in late. Woo! Normally I'm in in, in the uh, chat for a little bit longer, but I don't know. Been a little off today. I had to find some trip. things. But yeah, and, and then yeah, just had to find some things. But that explains it mostly. <laughs> Alrighty, well, welcome to everybody. Do say hello in the chat. If you haven't thumbsy upsy yet, please do. If you're new to the stream, no worries. Hang out for a bit. Hope you'll give the thumbsy upsy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell, do all those YouTube things, and then, you know, we'll, we'll get this party started. Let's say hello to everyone. Um, if you haven't said hello in the chat, that's how I say hello to you, because that's how I know that you're here. Uh, so let's go to participants. Let's see here. We have Ann Lover. We have Heather, Barbara, Brad, Candy, Carrie Griffiths. Oh, you showed up early today, Carrie. We have, is it Sh Charmin? Yes. She's from the Facebook group. Uh, Cindy, Caroline, Darcy, Dana, Janet Jennings. Hello, you're new and just popped in there. Joni, Judy P, Huta. We have Kathy, Lexi, Lisa, Liz. Liz, you changed your you changed your icon, me thinks. Maggie, Marta, Martha, Mary Ann, Maxine, Nisi, Panka, Sherry. I'm so glad you came back. Susan and Susan. We got Susan Anderson and Susan Dufresne. We got the Susans today. And somebody else popped in there. Hmm. Fiona. I think it was uh. Fiona. I got you, girl. Alrighty. Well, how is everyone doing today? We have some fun things planned, don't we, P? I think so. I hope so. This is going to be kind of We fun. thought it was exciting. We thought it was interesting. <laughs> We've been hyping it up for a few days, so. Hopefully you're going to find it as interesting hey, as. I'm moving the brush. Yeah. It's making me crazy. What? Oh. There. <laughs> Sometimes why. things get swung out in the cart. She was looking for her stencil. Big shocker there. Hey, mouse. <laughs> they are knit up. Trish, all right, you guys are popping in. I love it. We've got the crew is all here. That's exciting. All right, do I need to go topside? Oh, oh wait, hey, this is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. And together, together we, we are PM Artist Studio. And I'm feeling better. I can hear. Got oh, some it's amazing when you don't stuff, feel like you're hollering down a tunnel. Oh, it's making me crazy. People did ask how I was feeling. I got a text message. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> People do care, I think. <laughs> well, That's why I'm telling you. I, I, I'm trying to keep all my little hey, red Evie. sticky up things. I don't have any of those in the thing, do I? Oh, Sharon's here. All right. Sharon, I sent something out to you. Been sending out things. Sending out things. Mm-hmm. I have, I have. All right, am I going topside? Uh, sure. Okay. Are we there yet? We are there yet. Okay. All right, well, we're still, you know, I I did part of, you saw this. This is my inspiration piece. This was trial number one. And then this is what I pulled off the plate. And look at that shimmer and shine. And that would be Martha. She's talking about Mar Mar Martha pulled it. Well, the Martha is the shimmery business. Mar Martha is the shimmer. The Martha Stewart and crafty I think paint stuff. L Lucas is the pull. But there's also some of that uh, asphaltum Franz Brown in there. And I think, you know, I did a better job with the color here. Because if you look at that, boy, I mean, that's right spot on. And I'm not sure. Well, I was trying to get more of the golden the little halo-y things to yeah. come out here. So I got a little carried away with... Um, what you're white. You needed to pull up more white. I needed... Well, and if you look at that, it's really not white. It's cream. Because what's on here is white. So I think the problem is... <laughs> That's right, Anne. <laughs> is that this is just... Hi, Diane. So opaque. Mm -hmm. And the whites that I have seem to all be a little bit on the 
flimsy. Remember, this is, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to match a process that is it, not yeah, the same. Yeah, you know, we, we aren't necessarily doing oranges to oranges here. We're not, but I think that this is, is or a... Or apples to apples. I, I think that you can see you can get similar results. And that's all that I think was expected. I yes, I think so. I, I think that you have... I, I, I gave it a whirl. I gave it a whirl. All right. So, you know, the, things happen. I I'm almost threw this away, by the way, because I was just like, oh, God, it's some other trash, you know. Because we get, like, these magazines that, you know, are just the kind of local type. They're yeah. Kinda... Well, this actually, and, and I will either return it or, or buy her a new, it, it came to the wrong address. It's the right address, but it's the wrong person. Yeah. It's, well, like one street over, so. Yeah. A couple streets over. Yeah. And the thing about it is, is it's a volume 36, issue 5, and it's living with art. And I mean, hello? It was meant to come here. It was meant to come here. <laughs> because this is, you know, this is basically what we, we talk about all the time. Oh, if I put that over there, then it sticks up, doesn't it? I think you should just return it. I, I probably will just return it. I don't know. I really like it, though. And the thing about it is it's got a lot of stuff in here that I like to use when I'm doing my my um, collages that have ambiguity. I wonder if they have this one at the at the store. Like, oh, I'm sure that in they the magazine do. magazine section? Yeah. I'm sure that they do. But it's just, you know, lots of little things. Like, I like to cut out chandeliers because chandeliers Colleen. are always good. Look at this. Sandra. Uh, that poof there. I love poofs. I have a thing about poofs. Oh, we, we were cracking up about this because it was like, oh, yeah, if everybody just understood how many Ottomans are in this house. Okay. That's what we call a poof. Yeah. Poofs. Yeah. Hey, Lois. So, right off the bat, you know, here, this is, um, I don't know what this is. This is Frank. Where it's, Frank's back. Frank's back? Yeah, Frank's back. Oh, well, good. <laughs> so here's a quote from Matisse. Art should be something like a good armchair in which to rest from physical fatigue. Mm -hmm. Henri Matisse. So this is, this is, and, you know, here's his interior, and he painted his own paintings on the wall. I just thought that was brilliant. <laughs> she also said that that was also a little bit like, you know. I know, but I just, you know, I, I think it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, and, and I'm sure that he, he got some slack for that, but um, anyway. <laughs> among slack its, or flack? Slack. Flack. Flack. Yeah, slack is, yeah, loosening, yeah. and flack is, yeah. Yeah, giving me Among its powers, art is a sal, sal, slap, sal, slap. Salve? Spell it. S-A-L-V-E, salve. Is it salve? It's salve. You don't pronounce the L's like salmon. Mm. To the don't French painter and master colorist, Henri Matisse, it represented both emotion and relief that he painted his artwork into large red interior, his last finished oil painting, on exhibit through September 10th at the Museum of Modern Art, is telling of its potency and even necessity with our own environments. In this issue, we explore the role of art in exceptional design from the works we collect for our interiors, to the enduring impact of craft in our most important buildings and how each becomes a personal bolt hole of wonder and self-expression. <laughs> oh, oh. I love and the and hello to you guys coming in. Now, I did promise Shelly something today. Oh. So if you get on the gel plate, which I'm sure that we're going to, can we do a little bit of the powder? You remember how you sprinkled the powder in? Oh, Yeah, sure. I told her about that. Okay. Yeah, we never did get. I always wanted a little shaker so I could do, you know, a proper shaking and we job. And still is these little salt shaker thing from her kitchen. Oh well, yeah, we should probably she ask be her about that. that but. Okay, so down here on page fifty-four, can y'all see that? Hey, scoot over, so because you, you've got the ad straight up in the middle and the good stuff over there. You go. Okay, this Spot is on. this is what. Okay. Inspiration sometimes comes from very um, strange places, and we've been talking a lot about doing the sculpture, the Archipenko sculpture, and actually taking our two-dimensional um, things that we create and making, putting them on 
the three-dimensional sculpture. So I was looking at this and what it is, is it's slabs of clay with texture on them. And I'm going to try to somewhat duplicate that and I'm hoping that I can do that because I think that that would be a really interesting texture to add to the Archipenko yeah. offerings. Man, hello, hello to all of y'all. Do give the thumbs up as you're coming okay, in. Okay, see, this is, this is a great thing for collage. This is a great thing for collage. I, I just am going to have to... Um, <laughs> really like the magazine. I guess we're keeping yeah. it and we'll be sending the neighbor a new one. <laughs> just I got her bookmarks and everything in there. I, I do. I really do. And this is from the editor-in-chief. Her name is Steele Thomas Marco. Interesting name. But anyway, this is artwork that she purchased. And what I love about it is, look, her artwork matches her shoes. I think that's just so fantastic. I do mean, think, Do you think they planned that? Oh, I absolutely do. <laughs> and look, here's some circles. I, I'm just going to kind of go along And here. marble. Yeah. She's been getting, you know, she has this idea about the sculpture. Remember, because we're doing Arch Pank on some. I brought her up what I could find out in the garage. Okay, this trim for stuff is gaggy. I don't like that. It's gross. <laughs> okay, now look at this pousy wowsy page. <laughs> I know. See, and here we've got, you know, this whole thing of, I mean, this looks like Matisse's, and here's his little. Um, yeah, kind of planty looking. Yeah, under the water, you know, that's so quintessentially a Matisse motif. <laughs> and here, cubism recast. Oh. Look at that. And what does this remind you of? Lisa suggested that we return it and then let the neighbor know how much we would love old issues. <laughs> <gasps> that's a great idea because she probably just throws them away. Oh, that's a all right, well, you've got to go make friends with the neighbor. You're the one who... I will. I'll have to dress up and wear some <laughs> bottoms. Look arty and not, you know, yeah. scary arty. <laughs> you know, like you got it together. Oh. Not like you're, you know, going to oh, steal them oh. if she doesn't, you know. You know you give uh, off uh, the right uh, vibes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I know what you're okay. saying. Okay. <laughs> and anyway, I just thought that was so interesting because that just reminds me of her little... Archipenko parts. There. Yeah. There. Now I don't know what the rest of this means. I mean, th sometimes I'm not sure that they know what. Joni, doing. the sticks has have to do with um, September. That's the collab. Okay, <laughs> this is great stuff for collaging over here. These are great things you cut out and you just use them for you know whatever. Mm-hmm. That's wonderful. And here is a warmer Bauhaus. Well, I love the I idea. I love Bauhaus. I do because it's form, mm -hmm. function dictates form. And some of my most favorite yeah. fonts and, and logo types and, and, and yeah. good typography. Old, some good old German stuff there. Yeah. Okay, now here's some more little pieces that you just cut those out and use those for circles. Look at that wonderful bound. Oh, okay, Carrie. Ooh, oh, look that at purple. that purple. That is plum. Mm -hmm. mm. This stupid jewelry. But <laughs> lovely plum. She's got opinions, y'all. I do. And art and craft here. Yeah. Look at that. Painting out of this. This is a British Syrian artist, Yasmin Hayat. And I'm sure that's probably not how you say that, but original artwork for the fabric Rumi, part of her collection with Sewn <laughs> Britain. <laughs> we have the really tall bins. And look though. at this. I love her little mixing trays or oyster shells. That's cool. Very cool. Okay, then we get into Egyptian, which is really not my most favorite thing. I like a little bit, but it goes a long way. Um, Lisa, Lisa Serious Heckos. She's, yeah, she's, oh, she's, uh, she she's, likes her some Egyptian. Yeah, I, but see, that's cool. That's I love that very table cool. And that and all that Flat stuff light. on there and they have little numbers so that you could go down the thing here and, and know what it all know is. what it all is sometimes they even tell you where to get it yeah if it's something There's gettable a very happy chap here in the corner now here it is this is what you want your sculpture to look this like this is what i want this is the the thing that i want 
And this guy that's doing this, Peter Lane is the artist. Sculpture World, a ceramic playground of light and scale. So all that's ceramic on the wall there? Yeah. I bet that weighs it. I, 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 I rather imagine, well, you can see it's, it's, it's constructed in parts. Yeah, that would. And here's some more. Look at this. This is really nice. And then this is a, like an earlier. Then he does some other kind of stuff with it. Okay, well, here's some. Cedric. Herons and peacocks and the. Oh, show them the, the pink cover. So they know next the. To a, what, what? Show the cover again so we know what the magazine name is. Oh. Veranda. Veranda. And when you order, tell them you heard about it at PM Artist Studio. I'm sure that they'll probably contact us right away. <laughs> now, here, look at these little ones. things with little bumpy things on. And look at that. Isn't that fabulous? I just love that. And I've always wanted a fiddle leaf fig. A fiddly fig? Mm hmm Is that what it's called? They're, yeah, I like them. Oh, and see, look, here's some more nice textury. Well, that's the Carlisle and Company. Yeah, that's no, that was some good place. Yeah, that was some good placement. Yeah, on that's hand-embroidered fringe wall covering. Mm. I bet that set you back. And I love this turquoise and orange over here. I think that's oh, yeah. great. Oh, and here they're talking about hand printed with using wood block wallpaper. wallpaper yeah i like this artwork over the bed i think it's a bit yes technically not stolen just misdelivered it was yeah and it took us a Look couple of these. days to even find because she hadn't looked through it and we didn't think because it doesn't have the address out on the front which was kind of interesting they had like a letter thing in the back side of it yeah I Which think maybe weird. she needs to pay for her subscription, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> but hand block fabrics are art forms worthy of preserving for the future generations. The blocks themselves are works of engineering. Because see this little jobber right here? I thought it said how many? 80 blocks oh. per meter. <laughs> Ant's working through this for us. <laughs> and these are lovely little things to cut out, you know. I, I don't. You know, I don't like to fussy cut so much as I used to, but you know, I, I can't wait till Izzy's better at cutting. I think that room is very nice. It's yeah. a bit understated for my taste. Hello, but. Kristen. Welcome. Okay, these are always great little, you know, pink and green things. Yes, dust collector embroidered wallpaper. I was thinking the same thing. Ask me. Flowers and gardens. Just love that stuff right there. And at the artist table, look at this table. Isn't this wonderful? She's I, laid out all these little leaves I and flowers. I yeah, I, I don't like to do now. I wanted that. I I showed this to Mariah. And I said I'm going to show this to our group because it is just it's horrible. What do you look at here? You get lost. It's just so much that it's overpowering. And, you know, I edit. Edit what you do. You don't, just because you have something doesn't mean you have to use it. Okay? Yeah. Be selective. Have a reason for using it. And give yourself spaces to breathe. There's no breathing room here at all. I'm, I'm suffocating just looking at it. I can't look at it any longer. We're moving on. <laughs> okay. And here, at the Center of Design for over 95 years... Well, see, she does the New York stuff. Design Center. Hmm. But look at these cute little jobbers here. So see, she redeemed herself on that one. <gasps> same person doing the I don't think table. it is the same person. I do. Well, yeah. I don't know what that over here is. Uh, <laughs> I just think it's it's dark and it's just not good. This is very nicely balanced. It's almost symmetrical, but not. It's off enough that it's not. That's a nice little, and here we are in the dark again. Now, I'm sure this is alluding to all those Dutch masters that, you know, everything was dark, and yeah, and that's because it was dark. They didn't have, like, Scandal. light. Scandal. Yeah. <laughs> there was a reason for that. But then sometimes they clean some of those paintings, and more stuff shows up, too. Oh, this so is, it's, this you know, years really of, true. you know, hanging out, like, in, in candlelight. Yeah. It's all the soot. <laughs> yes. Okay, I think this is okay. I don't. Uh, you know, it, I have to work really hard to see it. <laughs> I want to go there and eat that. 
Now I think this is really lovely and this is one of the reasons I would love to keep this because I would cut this out and cut her head off and she has to go but her flowers stay. And her Aren't, hand? Are you keeping her hand? No. No. Okay. That's got to go too. I really love these poofy chairs. They don't go with anything in her house but I, I like them. I like them a lot. She has a thing for chairs. Okay, and this just cracks me up. Can you see this? you got to see this really good. This is this dude here. This is Yunus Karma, and he's from Istanbul. And okay, so he's got this sort of, I think it's like a glass thing uh, over the top. What do you call it, those there? Um, the terrarium. Terrarium <clears throat> things, kind of things. It says, <laughs> I'm going to read you this because I thought this was great. My story has been integrated with flowers since I was nine years old. I can't imagine a life apart from them anymore. This design with the balloon plant, bells of Ireland, smoke tree and ivy and branches became like a part of my body. It's important to be brave. Instead of repeating what is guaranteed to be liked, taking risk, trying, and not giving up on putting forth your best. I just thought that was so, you know, I love that. Yeah. I mean, I don't really love this. I love the parts of it. I but I love the same thing. Man, attitude. Inside. The it's man just, obviously doesn't have allergies. <laughs> <laughs> or claustrophobia, because if I had to put yeah. that over my head. Oh, and look, and here's my little nose to myself. Oh, this is what what I started <laughs> off with, because I was downstairs with Itty, and I couldn't do it, and she, I couldn't get her to come upstairs. Sometimes she's just... She doesn't listen. It's a poopy diaper head. Here's some more lovely flowers that would be great. I love that. And look at these pink poofs over here. And look at this wonderful artwork and that pattern in that artwork. Isn't that just stunning? Mm -hmm. And those cool circles over there. And I always look at what books they're reading. Oh, I'm just thinking about Oh, that. the quilts of G's Men. Do you all know about those? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's some good stuff. I love pink and gray together. I really do. And this is lovely. I love this whole, you know, whoever designed that did a nice job. Mm -hmm. Then on this page over here, look at all the wonderful things that we've got for collage. That's some good stuff. And aren't those wonderful little flowers? Is that how it is in the garden? Like they grew that way? Or did she no, trade she them? No, put, she put them together. She created that. See, she picked a whole bunch of flowers mm -hmm. right down here you can see. Oh, yes. And escaping to the country. I like that blue fireplace and wall. I, I, I do too. And kind of, you know, rubbed off on the edges. Yeah, this is a great magazine. Now, I don't know if every one of them is this good, but. Okay, yeah, we got to talk about it because this entitled Playing to the Gallery, this whole room just makes me a little bit, um, I don't know. Well, number one, artwork that's intimate shouldn't be hung above eye level. That's my rule. I don't know that. I just made that up. But I just, I don't know why they think they had to have all of this goo -ga <laughs> and tree stuff. and. Here's something else that's real funny. Because P and I are both short people. So our eye level isn't everyone right. else's. So Maybe the person that lives there is, you know, really six tall. foot tall. Basketball player. I don't know. Yeah, could be. But why would he have this little cute, cha cute chairs and low sofa? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't fit that tall no. of a person. No. And they have some really lovely artwork here. Yeah, I, I don't like how it's... And I don't know what that is because I can't see it. I especially like this. I don't know what it's made out of, but this tablecloth over here and the way it's... It looks like aluminum. Yeah. And it might even be. But it looks very drapey. Or maybe it's a table that was meant to look like it had a... Could be. I have cool. to look in the back and read all that small print and I can't do that. Okay, I just, I don't know. I, I don't know that I love this. <laughs> it isn't a room that I, I would feel, you know. Yeah, everybody's like right feeling that it, it was all askew, and maybe that's what it was. Maybe it was supposed to make you feel like, okay, kind of uncomfortable, and, you know, sometimes people do things like that. Yeah, they do. I mean. Okay, now this is, this is where we talk about brown, because you see the brown here is the same brown as here, because that's the room as you're looking through three doorways, two doorways. Yeah. Two doorways. Two doorways. And I, I really, I would like to see those artwork that they had over here, but they did not deign to show me that. And then they have these little stupid things on the wall there that they could have put artwork there. 
Some but I do, I do like you know. this room. I think this is a room that you could, you could, you know, yeah. Take a break from that other room. Yeah, and I do love the lettuce and asparagus dishes. <laughs> Candy says maybe they don't want their guests to stay long. Well, this could be. And this is the dining room, and I don't know what is on the wall over here, but it doesn't look very appetizing. And I recognize this. I should know that artist, but I don't. Here's some Escher. You've got some nice little goo gaws and whatnot there. Yeah, she's all for some. But I, I think fancy that that's a, that is a bad choice for the dining room. It looks like dead chickens have been, and the, <laughs> the immutilated in, innards. I don't think that's a good thing for it. That was an appetizer. No, no. See, that's okay. good collage stuff right that's there. That's good, very good collage stuff right there. Excellent. Oh, I and look that at that. Weird I, I love furry that chair. furry stuff there. The cat would maybe like that. Yeah, Izzy would like it. Yeah. Now this back here is more ceramic tiles. Now I think that's pretty awesome. And of course you absolutely need these cute little pink chairs here. Oh, Pete used to come and visit me and we would redo rooms. We love doing this sort of thing. Yeah, we do. Oh, and El Decor, like we, she had a I subscription did. for the longest time. And I kept them forever and ever. In fact, I think we still have some downstairs. Some, yeah. But I would make up little notebooks and, and write oh, yeah. things. I still and... have some of them. Maybe we should go through that someday because it's pretty <laughs> funny. And then, like, you know, one time when she came to visit me, she's like, now you don't have to take everything. But I brought, you know, things, which were like uh, okay. plastic bins full of, remember, when we were redoing with the coral? I know, and this is when I had my old Lincoln. Yes. And, I was and it had a could... trunk that you could put a Volkswagen into, oh, seriously. Oh, it was fantastic. I mean, I could haul more in the trunk of my Lincoln than in the back of my pickup. I loved that Lincoln. That was a great car. It was a great car. I, it, I, I hated it. It was extremely comfortable. It was it awesome was. to drive. Now, a little bit tricky, like, parking-wise, because, like, the front of the car was a mile long. <laughs> but it was, like, super, like, you felt super cool driving that car. I, it was, I, like, I really loved it, and it was kind of um, yellow. Oh, it was cr a beautiful cream color. I yeah. loved that car. Yeah. I did, too. <laughs> okay. No. Oh, Huta says she thinks that she's they can get these kind of um, magazines uh, for three for ten dollars at Walmart. We need to go look because we need to replace the or get our own copy. And yeah, yeah. Because it, it is getting kind of I I've, I've yeah. drug it around the house and looked at it yeah. well, many many times. One. Yeah, and I am going to take it apart. All right, now <laughs> this I love this interior because just just imagine yourself walking in here these little stools placed here you know you can sit down take your shoes off see she loves a good little benchy poof i love Ottoman. yeah well and usually they just hold a bunch of other shit that and you, she stacks stuff on yeah. stuff stuff <laughs> yeah stuff stuff <laughs> and i don't know what that is back there but i really love that i love this and i love this color of this that's exactly right jody i used to bench. say that yeah it was a perfect you know gangster okay. car because three oh. or four dead body trunk yes exactly yeah, it was, and my kids' at school called it a pitmobile. Um, I love driving it. And I, I think that's, I don't like that, but I love this. Okay, here's the other view of it. Isn't this a fabulous painting? Just look at all the things we here because you just have so many references here. You've got this pop art pink, and you have a David Hockney Beach, California type thing I think he lives in France now but you know used to do a lot of his stuff in California and this lovely sort of um oh I don't know it's reminiscent of the German uh you know where they did dark stuff I love it I just think it's such a fabulous painting I love these little chairs and this is all ceramic back here too now I think that's a bit much yeah I, I don't I don't really care for that too much, but here you get another view of the um, ceramic tiling of the area around the pool back oh. there. And I love these chairs. I love that chair. And isn't this an interesting table here? It's very organic and it kind of looks like our stencils. <laughs> and I love this little thing here. <laughs> and look at this poof over here. This is another poof. I love that. And I don't know that I love that round thing back there. I, I don't, I don't love the round thing. These frames crack me up. Look at these frames. 
And I have oh, this couch. Apples? Yeah, they're apples. Green apples and red apples. I don't know. This may be tomatoes. Kind of hard to tell. I like that. And I love this green room. I would like to sleep in that room. <laughs> she likes the green room. I like the green room. And I love this couch. I just love it. And I think it just looks... You know, if we recovered our couch, it would actually look like that. It's really long and... Yeah. yeah. Well, we should do that. And get some pink round pillows. I love those. Little basketball pillows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this is the outside of the house. I don't know if it's actually pink or if it's just twilight and it's reflecting off the walls, but this is definitely a pink, pink room. Yeah. You're having a bit of bubbly. I like these chairs. And I, I think frames without mirrors in them are stupid. She got mad at me um, because I had all of her frames that she had, you know, toted to me. It was pretty cool though, because remember when Adam stacked on the, you, you told me it was stupid then too, but that's fine. Um, I had them up on the mantle, and they were kind of organized in a way that it was a functional, because I didn't know what to do with them all. <coughs> We've since then done something with them. Yeah, yeah, they sit next to my dresser in my room. And yeah. you, you know that you're a collector if you stack your artwork against the wall. I have a frame downstairs almost exactly like that. Yeah. See, they have just stuff leaned up again. They didn't know what to that They ran out of wall space. Well, at least it has something inside the frames, Mariah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like that room. We have a really cool tapestry thing that used to hang over here behind me, but then we put in the shelves. We need to hang it back up over there. I just need to rehaul that whole thing. Yeah, I agree. Although it would mess with the lighting because we get good reflection off we the do. wall. And it's kind of dark, so. Yeah, we do. Something to keep in mind. Something to keep in mind. Chiaroscuro. And I love <laughs> the leopard wallpaper. And see, this is so cool because you have to, this is opposite of this. Right? Yeah. I, I will say this, Mouse. The thing about it, because, you know, we've had, you know, what we call the fancy things are out pretty much the entire time that. Now, there, there was a little bit of, like, when Izzy was first starting to walk and stuff, things went up higher. Yes. And she did, you know, I have a couple little things that my dad had made out of, um, you know. Ceramics. Ceramics, yeah. That she knocked the antlers off because there's some moose and whatnot, but because she would clank oh, them together. She, yeah, they would fight. Oh, and then the sheep lost its tongue. Yeah. But overall, I think it's one of those things that if, if you don't teach children, you know, it was important for us to keep it around because we knew that it was going to, it's not like we can't because we no. live with her. And fancy things are just part of our <laughs> being, even though I've tried to, I've tried. But yeah, it's one of those things. I think if you kind of have it around and let children know, yeah. hey, there are things that you can play with and... And she knows she doesn't have access to my paints, and we really don't have much yeah. of a fuss about it. But that's also because she has access to her own paints over there, and she understands that. Yeah. For the most part. Okay, I have to comment on this because I I, I, like I don't know, I didn't know what it was. What it is is they use this gold, gold leafing, but then they painted it with many layers of glaze so that it... To temper it to temper it so that it doesn't like, you know, it's not like glossy gold, but it really, look at the depth of it. Isn't that wonderful? So it almost creates like that, you know, deep lacquer. Well, or even amber and honey. Oh, yes. That's a good. I really, I love it. And I love religious icons. I think those are wonderful. I used to have some. I don't know what happened to those. It's probably over in storage. Yeah, probably. This is horrible. Like I said, we need to have a hotel. I love this 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 room. I don't know that it's um. I I, I like it very much. Hi, Sarah. I, I think that's this is. I, I don't know. I would have nightmares. Your there. stuff went out today. I like that orange. I do too, and I like this stuff stacked on it too because it almost looks calligraphic, you know, like a letter. Mm. Well, this is Holly Hunt. I think she's like a big deal. I don't know. Well, she obviously is. Elegant Bedfellows. 
And look at that artwork back there on the, that kind of looks Art Japanko y. A little bit. Art something to think about. Yes, that, that would be good too. What Although we'd it? have to have the right, you know, we'd have to be very particular about who comes and stays. Oh, yeah, because, it's, yeah, we'd have to do some explaining. And if we had to explain, then, yeah. <laughs> Anne says it was funny to hear um, a child that that had some speaking issues tell a friend, don't play with that, it's a teak. He was trying to say it was antique. <laughs> it's a teak. <laughs> don't touch that, it's a teak. <laughs> well, it's funny, Izzy, like, she started using certain words, and then we're kind of like, it's funny how she uses them, certain words, and then some, you know, she's heard it maybe once, and so it's kind of what she remembers it to be, which is hilarious. I oh, while well, we were talking, okay, so I give her a small you piece, smaller more pieces. Interesting oh. than just blank things out okay. there. Okay, I'll, I'll get this up here. Okay, yeah, there we go. So, and I, I used to talk to my kids about this at school too, because I'd hand them a piece of paper and they'd draw three things in the middle of the paper and they would say I'm, I'm, I'm finished I would say no we need to elaborate so what we would do is we would brainstorm storm and write all the things on on the board that you could add to your drawing to make it more elaborate and so the other day I said it needs elaboration and so I was telling her about this she says Chi Chi I don't always like to elaborate <laughs> Oh, isn't that, that, isn't that, that a, yeah. I thought that was a great <laughs> one. She doesn't, she doesn't always need to elaborate. <laughs> oh, I just, it just cracked me up. I just thought it was so, so appropriate. All right, well, what are we going to do today? Well, you know, I made my little, and I guess I showed, did I, sh I Mariah says I did show them. Well, you, you showed it. But we didn't actually get to Archipenko, back to Archipenko. But did stuff. I show the Archipenkos that I had done thus yes, far? Yes, you have done that. You showed your prints. I now, showed the prints. I think we need to get to it. And put we that need baby to, on the plate. We, and when you do it, would you please put some of that powdery stuff? Because, um, yes, Shelly has I will shown have, up. I will have to I, remove a few of my yes uh, stencils here that are. I'll be. I think they're there. probably dry by now. Yes, there. they've been up there a couple of days. And they're getting kind of. <clears throat> intertwined and oh um what was the month initial it, it, it was right august or, I, or I, september I probably i don't know well it doesn't say it's volume 36 september october there you go september october that's a good one it's got lots of good stuff in it okay and the other thing i want to do and i don't know it's it's kind of I wanted to get some layers, and this is this is important information because when you're getting ready to use these, when you first start off, those <laughs> those little. This is funny. Okay, so Devin says she has a friend named Melinda. And her kids asked her once, "Are you gonna go? Are you going out with your Linda?" Because <laughs> she would say, "My Linda." <laughs> That's good. Okay, oh, well, that's funny. Izzy has this little friend, and, and what what did she tell? I'm sure that. Oh, she said her name was Rimrose. I'm sure it's Primrose, <laughs> but she <laughs> calls her Rimrose. Wait, wait, what is he like? She's like, no, that's what it is. <laughs> Rimrose. I don't know. I just <laughs> thought it was a very unusual. Rim Rose. Oh, poor girl. Yeah. Hopefully she can shake that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So anyway, I'm going to do that. But at the same time, I'm kind of wanting to think about doing some, you know how I did on Vinla with the, um, doing the modeling paste over the stencils yes the texture paste texture paste thank you over the stencils to create not only texture but some kind of different lines going on and when I put this down over this isn't this interesting what shows up here oh 
you're getting questions about some of your jewelry. You do have some new things on today. Oh, do I? You've got a Cuisine bracelet on that you normally don't wear. I know. Isn't that a wonderful bracelet? I got that at a junk store in Clovis, New Mexico. And I was very proud. It was $12. She's been going through my room. Which, I mean, I, it's her stuff, but, you know, the storage one. Well, and I just keep bringing it up here. And this is a bracelet that I actually made. This is this is from the um, <laughs> it's probably Asian like Market. It's grocery store. A <laughs> Asian Market grocery store <laughs> newspaper. Yeah, she decapies that. Yeah. We need to do that again. And it's just, it didn't used to be this yellow. It used to be kind of. Yeah tanny colored it's it just keeps yellowed. yeah i like it. it i thought it went really oh, yeah. well with my shirt definitely didn't used to but yeah <laughs> for sure oh and i have this lovely can you see my my pen your brooch my brooch is it a brooch if it's i think i it's think just, it's a brooch or does brooch have like jewels i, I feel like a brooch has, has well, more jewels this could be I, I don't know. Somebody out there will <laughs> let us know. If <laughs> Devin says three mangoes for a dollar, that's what it says. <laughs> No. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know, or some, you know, really, I, I don't know what. Hopefully it, it's not obscene. We don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I thought it was decorative wife. And, I, you know, I want to know, do the Asians take American newspapers and put them on things? Probably not. Yeah. I just know that you have to be careful about your t-shirts because you're going to be walking around wearing that. And well, or tattoos. You better really research that and make sure your tattoo artist is... Oh Tattooing yeah. Well, with I, the would, right I would. I would. I. You know, I'm not into pain. No. I, I don't self-inflict it anyway. Yeah. But I, I. You know, other than having babies. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna set this aside for a second here because I think we're gonna play around with this because we had requests for. Yeah, the powder stuff. Powder stuff, and I do have a bit of this. Powder. Plus, I think it might kind of go well. It might. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just drag all of it out here. Uh, you know, some of this I've never even used. Yeah. And those of you that are new coming in, hello, welcome. Please say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Do the thumbs upsies on the video. All this right. is Interference Blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is... Gold. Sparkle Gold. This is... Duo Violet Brass. Oh, well, that might be a good one. Hey, Lisa. And then this one is Antique Silver. And this one is Pearl White. <laughs> oh, here. What? Boy, Devin's got some good stories. Here's another one. A friend, of hers, a friend of her son's had a cat named Zeus that passed away, so we got a tattoo for, for it, but they misspelled it, so it's Z-U-E-S. <laughs> That'll learn you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. That's just, that's exactly the kind of thing that would happen to me if I got a tattoo that misspell something. All right. I don't know what to put out here. I need to put something out here that's kind of not going to dry up right away. So let's go with something in the, where's my green gold? I think that would be a good one to put out here. And I know it's open, so. Oh, Mouse was in China. She says the Playboy Bunny appeared to be just as normal a normal brand like Calvin Klein or like Calvin and Calvin and Hobbes. Oh, yeah, and they appropriate things. Well, and especially I think like they they really like you know, it's, well I guess it's kind of like us like with with the writing, we find it interesting because it's a character. So I think. When, when they see things with a logo or a logo type kind of thing. Well, and it probably doesn't have the same <clears throat> right. uh, hey, ready? reference. Yeah, okay. Now, I, I guess I lied to her because I told her that usually what you did is you put it down first. Remember? It's the powder. Well, I did. I tried it both ways. But remember, we kind of decided that the best way to do it was to get something down on the paper. On the plate. I, on the plate. You, you need a shaker. I need a shaker. That, that was discussed. I do remember that. Because remember when I was really using this. Yeah. Was when I was, we were doing those uh, folded books. Remember the, the ones that you cut? 
Oh, the meandering. Meandering, you. yes. That. I don't know if that's true. And again, remember, this is open paint that I've got out here, so. Are you paying attention, Shelly? <laughs> yes, it does, but, yeah. So I kind of, you know, squished it down in there. And now let's put something else on top of it that's, like, different. Try some paint. Oh, I like this idea. This is something different, so I like that we're kind of going back to an old technique, doing something a little different. It's a little sad to see. Well, one of, one of the things that we like to do here is we like to, oh, and see what's happening yeah. here. Getting a bunch of ookie gookies. And as I recall, it might have been kind of hard getting it off of here. A little bit. Oh, it's man. It's coming back to us. <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming back to me. But I like this whole metallic-y, because it's different. It's chunky. Yeah, it is. It's, it's kind of, you know, smeary, and mm -hmm. and it's got some texture to it. And this may be something that really, you know, comes off as a real... Yeah, I'm going to get some of this. Up. Pick it up right away. Don't leave it down there. God, that thing looks fantastic. All right, we're going to put this down right there. I'm trying not to get, see, I've already mucked up my... Okay, well, obviously that needs to go away for a while. We'll just keep Sally in forth and carrying on here and try a new, a different Oh, one. it's the Pearl X. Isn't it Jacquard? I think Jacquard. Yeah. <clears throat> Jacquard. And they came in a set. Pearl X. And we got it because it was on sale. Yeah. You know, it was like super cheap. Hey, Lynn. I want that corner gone because that was going to create some issues. And I think you can mix it in with all sorts of stuff. Like it, it tells yeah, you Yeah, I it. mixed up some stuff, but I wasn't very happy with my mixture. I don't know. It wasn't. I didn't mix it together with the right stuff, obviously. Okay, yeah. Depending on what kind of medium that you put in, put it in. It sort of dulls out yeah. the sparkle. It does. It really does. But okay, you... here. this Now, this is the Magicals, the Glitzy Gold. But I had trouble, remember, getting this off the plate. So I'm not messing with that anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's mica powder. Exactly. Yeah. All right, we're going to try some dark and see what that does. And I'm pretty sure I have some retarder in here since it's stuff that I make. I try to put retarder in all the stuff that I mix so that I do have a bit more working time. And those of you that don't know what she's talking about, she means like the retardant, the medium. Uh, we like the U.S. Art Supply brand. It's very economical and works quite well, but it slows drying time. So you can add it to your paints that are, you know, fast drying. It gives you one more time to you know, put magicals or sparkly things or yeah. I think stencils. I kind of got some lumpy stuff going on there. That's coming off. Let's use some of this. I don't. I don't know that I've used this. Before. No, you didn't. Use, oh, you did use the purple a little bit. Did I? Mm -hmm. I kind of remember one that turned out really lovely. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Matches your shirt. It does. Hey, Ginger. I just really like how that swooshes out. You can, Joni. Like I said, so you can use this powder for all sorts of things. You can mix it with water so it's like a watercolor. Uh, you can mix it in with impasto. Now again, you're going to lose some of the shimmer with it. If you use it with a more glossy medium of some sort, it will keep more of its shine. I wish you'd put it directly on the plate, but... Oh, I will do that in no. a minute. Because that's really where you get the wowies out, because then it's actually on the part that... Yeah, that you're going to pick, be picky, yeah. pulling up. But what we're going to do here, because remember, I, you can bray her off. That's right. I've forgotten. It's been a little while since we've done this. 
Oh, yeah. Diane said she used to coat the molds before putting polymer clay in. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Lisa wants us to bust out with the moon stencil. <laughs> she does what? <laughs> it's just that it would look great with the moon. What you got going on? Kind of sparkly. Yeah, sparkly stuff. All right, now where's some of my clear, clear dragon stuff here? So we can get it embedded in. Yeah. Because we, we don't want it to fluff off. It, we got you got to put something down here to make it sticky. Oh well, we made it sticky. <laughs> hmm. You better pull that up. <laughs> no, I think it's too late for that. I think we're just gonna have to let that dry and come back. Ooh. I see behind it looks like, you know. It, yeah, it's, it just made the, the the blue stay there. It didn't get any of the... So, you you got a good call there. I'm glad I kind of reared it off. And, yeah. But I think that's really an interesting effect. Probably one that won't be repeated. All right, Mariah wants us to put some on here. Just swish that off there. Let's <laughs> try some... Let's try some of this antique, <laughs> antique silver. There we go. And the, the AC is on, so I saw it kind of float a little. <laughs> oh, Shelly, yeah, you need to, um, once you have that stuff on there, um, a lot of times P won't even put it at, at this, like, the first layer. Um, yeah, or if you we'll do, be working at getting this off of here. Well, the dragonfly. So it doesn't matter place really it's almost best if you want like a full coverage of that to come back afterwards and just either like you know kind of paint it on if you want that full glaze or you got to come back and get a pole layer to get yes, it off to put it on and then go over don't leave it. it on your plate because it just yeah it kind of builds up and, and remember that because you kept getting stuff like oh yeah. days later days later <laughs> Literally. Yep, thanks, Well, this is hey, interesting. Kathy. Hey, Diane. Oh, look at that. Look at Can you see it? Can you see it? It doesn't matter. At least it, it, you can kind of go either way. But I think, Oh, and we've got some wonderful crazing oh, going yeah, on do. there. Oh, yeah, this may be the, this may be the bomb diggity. I'm getting some great papers. If over you here. want the powder to show up and you want the shimmery business you need to put it on first yeah and this was this is so weird hey, because that was the that was you saw which one i used hey and this is almost your wallpaper but i type. also yeah i also use this interference gold which really i think that's part of the crazing going on there i think this is going to be really wonderful hello jacqueline wonderful things going on here just going to Although it says to be careful and not breathe in any of the powders. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I think you notice those fell. She's you, not woofing I, it about. Yeah, and this over here is from my vigorous brayering. Oh, I better take that away. Look at that. Isn't that good? That is a good call. Look at that. Oh, and then yes, you can put them in a little sprayer because a lot of the um, the shimmer sprays, that's the mica is what's in there. Now be sure to pump that stuff out if you want to keep your sprayers working. Absolutely. All right, you can well, soak them and it kind of... Did we try the copper? Mm. Uh, I think we've tried the copper before. Well, yeah, but you did it after. I did? Mm. Oh. But that's fine. You just do whatever you need to do. Okay. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of this. But I think we have sufficiently um, shown the technique. So if you, you know. Wanted to move on. Yeah. But I think that it's pretty cool. Now, see, it, it I mean, it fell there. And I, I'm not picking up on the outside. So I, I think this is a relatively safe one if you're going to use. Because I do think some of those powders are very. Yeah. All right, um, 
<laughs> I really want this to show. Oh, Kathy says there are print. There's a printing release medium that is used when using mica paint and powders. Oh. Wow. So like it's, a, it's its own medium. Of course it does. I mean, there's about there's a there's a medium for that. <laughs> should be a should be an Artie bumper sticker. There's a medium for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, yes, exactly. So it's funny because you know Kathy was doing um, Kathy Arbor was doing her um, nice letter, bracing. the gold gold leafing letter, uh, illuminated letter. There we yes. go. But she had some really cool stuff. So that's why the powders were talked about. Now, um, Patty Tolly Parish, she uses little gold leafy stuff which also kind of sticks and does similar effect. Yeah, we've messed with that and I, I, I found that to be crazy. incredibly frustrating. And Izzy she has found it in the cabinet before and we're like don't open that. Because <laughs> it goes everywhere. Horrible. Yeah. Horrible horrible. Well I see we got a little purple going on there. It's alright. I'm really you know I'm enjoying my interference gold here because I, I forget to use this stuff. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Um, has anyone used high pigment eyeshadow on a plate? Yeah, there are a lot of people that do. We've never done it, but it's the same, same difference. Same <laughs> difference. Aw, thanks, Judy. P she says PM shines like Pearl X. Aww. Flatterly, flatterly, flatterly. We'll get you everywhere. There we well. go. Flattery. <laughs> okay, let's have a little yellow iron oxide out there. Just to kind of get stuff into the grooves and. Wait, any more than I needed, but oh well. <laughs> Oh, I, hey, and I'm working on I'm working on more planets. Speaking of which, I, I can't decide if I want to do Jupiter or Saturn first. And is it true that Brad is working on a lizard? He's he's working on lizards. Stay tuned. I'm kind of excited about the lizard. I really I hope he does it right. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Susan loves your Franken stencil. Remember, this is the one she says that's hers. If you want to make yours, you can get the Archie pieces and, and put them together. Because these were this one was made from the Archie pieces inside of, you know, it was. the little pieces that you get with mm. that set. Here, I'll put a link. So you guys know. Well, and I think I'll pull that with a blue. All right, have, do we have something on everything here? No, we've got one more to go. One more to go. Not to worry, folks. We're we're gonna we're gonna do it here. Cause I want to get them all down before I start. Oh wow! This is some of my. I believe it's one B A. I really like. Obviously, I like it. Cause oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Look. Oh. <laughs> I'll try it. Well, let's see if we can. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> see if we can do something with this little jobber here. Get a little, because it's definitely on its way to. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't. Why are you even attempting that? I I just want them to see that it's possible to, you know, just because your paint looks like it's just a little like bit. Like a sad, past, dried up. <laughs> past goober. Past, past prime. It may not be. It may not be. Well, hello to those of you that are coming in. If you're having a good time, do give those thumbs up. So say hello to us in the chat. You know, watch us hopefully revive some paint. <laughs> it's good stuff. 
<laughs> this is really a nice, nice. Um, Again, never to be repeated. Um, I don't know exactly, but see, I'm, I'm starting to get it. It's busting, starting to busting up. It's it's kind of like you know when you're you don't want to pour all your milk into the flour at once. You kind of want to start with a little bit, yeah. and I I I, I just uh -huh. poured my milk into my flour right off the. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch on my finger here, but I think this is going to be a marvelous. I don't know. We'll pull it. Heather said it looked like roadkill. <laughs> I was thinking a little bit like, you know. I don't know what that little weird glitchy thing yo was. Yogurt but. and tomato soup vomit. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Now I have to figure out which one of these did I start with. <laughs> Oh, we've got a little bit on here. I don't know what that says. Oh, yeah, I do. I remember that. I remember. Here's some of the green gold that I made for Fran. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what that was. I think we're back. I probably have some leftover mucky muck on my brayer here. But that's okay. Hello, Leanne. Glad you're here again today. Awesome. Oh, that was rad. I created the... <laughs> wiggle, wiggle. Oh, oh, Brad deleted. He accidentally deleted Devin's thing. Uh oh, did we get hung up? Yeah, well, yeah, there was a little, uh, yeah, top there. And Danthrine. Yeah. And Danthran. And Danthran. I don't know what I said. <laughs> it's all, always good. Always good with. Oh, the brayer off looks awesome. It's all mucky muck. Oh, I muck. know it is. That's not, that's not mucky muck. That's mucky muck. <laughs> hmm. Well, that's... I don't know. That's, that's nothing to write home about, but this is really looking cool. <laughs> I think we all have that phase, Caroline. <laughs> what? What is it? The, going out and partying, wearing shoes that make no sense yeah i i i, I she had that a up pretty she had this awesome patent leather remember those oh yes black with the little bow like almost look like little bows yeah, yeah. They were i was fascinated with those as a kid i had some really cute red ones that had ankle straps around them and i do not i don't know what it is about ankle straps but i just never could walk normally in most shoes <laughs> it just seemed like a <laughs> you know, they would do like grabbing or something. I just wasn't. Oh, okay, that's not really ready. Maybe this is? Oh, yeah, that's dry. All right, what are we going to pull that with? Ooh. Yeah, look at Ooh. that shimmer on there. And see, it even like haloed out around the yeah, first I'm, part that you put down. I'm thinking you maybe take some of this quinacridone burnt orange. have a little tube of this so I have to be sparing oh Lynn at, um, so she says at some point can we learn how to do picture transfers on the jelly plate I have been trying to but have yet to get sex, sex, successful transfer okay so um, number one you gotta go over to Devin's channel because Devin can sh she's a master at the photo transfer especially magazine transfers and she is also the reigning champion of at least 10 pulls from a laser print because there's kind of two ways you can do it so that's also helpful information but as far as the um magazine one you got to go to De that's devon rex for art i will put in a link to her channel she can teach you how to do it 
We've done it once. And the main thing that we did, we, we, we do did laser photo, transfers. Photo, well, and I've also, I also have a whole thing on photo transfer. Right, but they were laser prints. Yes, they were laser. Not from magazines, so it's two different things. Yeah. Now, two same, things. same concept. I just love this. I think it's just turning out to be absolutely, and I don't know how else you could get that effect. Okay, but I screwed around, and I can't, I, I need to let this dry, because, oh, well, you see what happens. <laughs> you see, yeah. Did you put your fingerprint in it? No, I, I just lifted a little bit of it. it, it it's okay. Oh, and look at this. Why do I not have that on my list here? I need to up I just think list. this is wonderful. And I'm really thinking about pulling this with silver. Martha. Mm, silver. You're using up all Martha. your Martha. I know, but I just think it's going to be really, because it's kind of cloudy. Yeah. So I, I'm thinking, even though that there is some already some metallic down here, and I think I pulled pulled with this before, so as a, a layer. Well, we, we need to find some more of that. I'm pretty fairly fond of that. <laughs> Hopefully, it hasn't been discontinued. I'm sure there's something similar to it. a good one. I'm, I'm liking yeah. that a lot. There we go. All right. I'm updating my list too. <laughs> I'm multitasking. All right. Now what about this? This is copper. I'm thinking maybe Payne's gray. Mm, what do you guys think about that? Payne's gray? Payne's gray? Or what about, I have a really dark purple. Diazamine. <clears throat> See that? Oh, let's just go with it. <laughs> yes, purple. Teal. Dark purple. Yes, I think I think lots of practice with the transfer um, is going to depend on your plate. It's going to depend on the weather. It's going to depend on the paint that you use. Um, it tends to be that we've gotten the best results with more highly pigmented some. And, and the like, very finely, um, finely. <clears throat> fine layer. Well, yes, that, but the, the paint itself. You know, some paints seem like they're more um, chunky. And I, I don't know how it, how like the smalt is not a great one because it's no not at all because and that's the other thing you don't want to pull with a dry oh my gosh look at that <laughs> man that's almost like mirror like yeah you have to breathe just right there's planetary alignment I mean there's all sorts of things yes it absolutely is <laughs> that's what we've decided <laughs> Well, I don't know. What did I what did I put down here? Why is this taking so long to dry? This is one of the first ones I did. Really? Yes. Yeah, just hanging out there and not doing anything. Okay. Well, I'll just get it off there. I know. It's, I, I think this is going to move. We need the plates. We're moving on or whatever. I don't know. What are we doing? I, I don't know. I don't know. We could talk about your foam over there. Well, we could. All us fails. I do not. I do not want to do that. Okay. So we talked about. Uh, remember, the whole Archipanko thing is going to last as long as it lasts, and who knows, like when we will. We haven't had the right material. Just the the right spark of inspiration, the right materials to kind of line up. He has the whole 
whole thought in our head about what the texture of things are going to be. But, you know, we got to get the thing built at some point. And then she'll really know. Like, a lot of this is practice I, for inspiration. It, it really isn't. I, I do. I'm The whole thing with the metallics, I do know that, that that's going to be part of what's going to be important to mm -hmm. me in the actual... Oh, look at that. It's going to be a good one. Well, yeah, Martha, um, if it's very humid, you know, remember, the first thing you're going to have to, if you're getting the transfer, let that dry. You need to let that dry. Oh, what is going on? Facebook. Or Facebook. Hold on. I've got to revisit my paints over here because some of these are getting to be really dry. Okay, this is some anthro. Oh, no, I know I, this is as. Oh, wow. Hold on. Because we're spinning. I don't know. I, I think you guys can see us. Yeah, it just quit. I don't know what's going on there. Even though it says everything's excellent and fine. Hmm. That's hmm. right. Hmm. Let's see if we can do a. All right, you gotta wait. We we don't have. We're not on. They might be able to hear us, but we don't have video right now. Oh. Now Candy can hear. She can see and hear us just fine. C two. But you're it's back not now. Okay. It's not showing. On your end. All right, they're all good. It's well, it's not showing in the preview window, but it seems to be fine. So I say go. Okay. They're obviously doing some weird things today. Why did you think it was going? Oh, well, because I'm not getting a preview in, in the studio. Oh. But I, it's it's fine on our streaming software and all that. So okay. All good in Ireland, Lois says. It's late there. Okay, I'm going to save that. Some nice little stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, there, there is. See, that's, I think that's almost the more brilliant thing that happens with some of this is that you, you pull off that first heavy layer of stuff, and then, you know, what's left back, I don't, you know, that's, that's some, some of the fun. becomes interesting. Fun yes. yum yum stuff. Yum yum. <laughs> the yum yum. Yum yum stuff. Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a, what a word. Yum yum. Yum yum. All right. Let's just have a little bit of this. Carmen. Oh, and we're, hey, those of you that are coming in, welcome. Please hang out. Say hello in the chat. We would love to say hello back. If you are watching on replay, you know, we, we get it. Just leave us the comments below. But right now, we are live. And if we have our concurrent 100 viewers for a bit here, we'll give away a stencil. If I can figure out things. <laughs> there is that. Mm -mm, here, you can come around. We have our tech, techno expert here. See, just spinning over there. But everything's viewing. Back up and come back or will it mm. kick you out? And that makes me nervous. Okay. I, well, I can come out of the studio and come back in, huh? Look here and open up a new window. Let's see if you can look at any. Yeah. I mean, as long as everybody can see it, I'm yeah. fine. I was just worried that I'm not getting a preview. Then you know what does that mean? Mm -hmm. Carry on, Gigi. Keep talking. Okay. <laughs> blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Do you like Violet? Does she does a little song and dance? <laughs> <laughs> Pulling some stuff here. Ooh. Now that came off a lot better than I thought it was going to because remember this is one of the ones where I put it down on the plate. Now there's still a little bit of stuff left but look at that wonderful crazy stuff going on there. Oh there we go. I'm going to close that one. Cool. 
I don't know that I think that that antique silver is such a powsy wowsy metallic, but. But it looks like it's, you know, um, those tin tiles. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. and if you came in and um, used like the embossing folders. Or hmm. I wonder if you were, if you pulled something like this on tissue, could you overlay it on textured, like a impression plate, you know, like our old impression plates. Oh, yeah. Could you get that tin type? Isn't that what they're called, tin type? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. But that that's pretty brilliant right there. I like it. I, I, like do. It. I like it a lot. I, think, <laughs> I, like I'm, it a lot. I think I'm going to. I just, this is when I wish you know, my plate was really big because I've got a little bit left on here, but let's try it on a big plate with some tissue paper. I, I, that is something that I could use for my sculpture. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking like if you do different parts in your sculpture, it would be interesting to make those different parts look like different material. That could be interesting. That could be. I, I don't, I think you would be fighting to have it feel like it was a cohesive whole. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't, no, I'm to grab the right one here. Because that was this, right? Yes, I was refreshing my chat Antique Silva. Hello, Audrey. Uh, what colors um, was on that pole? So that was the that was the silver powder, right? That one. This is antique silver. Uh huh. And then I mixed it on the plate with the interference gold, fine. Mm -hmm. That's some yummy Fluid stuff. Fluid acrylic. Then let's see what else did we use there. Um, I like that, Martha. So sometimes I get better rollies than pulleys. <laughs> That's okay. Sometimes yes. it happens that way. It, it happens to be all the time. She's like, did you see that rare off? That was fantastic. The print was terrible. <laughs> Still working through that. <laughs> Needs more layers. <laughs> Good old Martha. Yes, the prayer gives gifts. See if I can knock this about a bit. Oh, goodness. You need a... We need a little shaker. Well, you know, I'm going to muss it about anyway. So. Right. That looks cool. All right. So now we want to do our interference gold. Are you going to put it on tissue? And I'm going to pull it with tissue. But I remember I, I need to... Um, easy don't go too much because you, know, you got a lot of powder down there because I think if you if you over brayer yes you're going to smooth it all out yeah, you don't you want that you want it to remain make a slightly thing. lumpy yeah yes don't keep it <clears throat> don't don't over over whip your batter bye Renny <laughs> okay we're gonna let that sit a while Yes, it's the Pearl X mica powders. Sorry, I missed that one. Yeah, and we got ours on sale. Um, pretty sure that we did. Yeah, that could work too, Carmen. See, I, you want to be careful. Like they had mentioned earlier, you don't want to get it too airborne. You probably don't want to be breathing a lot of mica powder stuff in. But I think that it's heavy enough that it's not fluffing about. I don't think it's fluffing about. What you're seeing over here is it's already stuck down. It's from the brayer. Well, I, you know, this is not no. not terribly interesting. Did you do that one today? Yeah. 
Oh, yes, I, okay. I did. <laughs> Look at that brayer off. <laughs> Look at that brayer off. Oh, this is a really good one, too. I should move it aside. Yeah, like this. Oh, yes, it does like that. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Uh, the acrylic ink and mica powder. Oh, I would think so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. I don't know what to do now. Um, let's try something a little bit different here. Okay. Let's try some of this. This is the Chocola. The Chocola. And remember, this is dry paint. Oh, Diane says the mica powder you have you have to worry about is Sculpey. Is what? Sculpey. Sculpe. Is extremely fine and will travel easily. Okay. Diane, Messy Palette Diane says, you can suck that powder up with a pipette and waft it on the plate. It's a cool effect. Oh, like kind of... Oh, yeah. Oh, you got your little pipette thing? Well, somewhere there. Put it in your pipette and blow it on the plate. It's just about... <laughs> ah, it's a brand of polymer... It's a brand of polymer clay and they put out some beautiful but dangerous micas. Ah, gotcha. in need of that third arm in the middle of my forehead. <laughs> I don't like that. Put that back down. I don't like that. No? No. It's boring and it doesn't show up. This is a really wonderful color. I love this. This is turquoise phthalo. I like that color too. I wish you'd use it more often. I forget. You forget. Oh, look. All right, we've got some people coming in. Do say hello. Welcome to the stream. We very much appreciate you being here, but we don't know that you're here unless you say hello. Give the thumbsy upsies on this video. We very much appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because that helps us out big time. Big time. Number one free way to help us become a subscriber. Well, it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily a good way. Very interesting. Here, this looks really good. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just have to see what. You know, is it It ain't done till it comes Hi, out of Tinder. the oven. I'm so happy you're here. Tender's here. Tender. Okay, let's see if we can pull this bad boy. <laughs> Oh, so just kind of struggling with using the stencil today. Uh, yeah, Because everything I am. without the stencil is looking mighty fine. Yeah. Well, I think that when you're, sometimes the effects that you're getting here are, you, you don't need that. Right. That you're taking away from the beauty of the paint and what is happening with the paint when you add that stencil part, you know. I, I think that that's, I like that a lot. Oh, I think Susan, that's a, she just, she just opened her PM stencils. Thank you. I'm glad that you got them. She can hardly wait to use it. Use them. Fantastic. Is that copper? That was the copper. That, that was, was the copper and, and mica powder. Mica powder. Remember we spread it out with the gold and then we pulled it with the um, purple. That dark purple. Yes. Um, it's the Utrecht. dioxazine purple Utrecht, and it's 
Series 3, whatever that means. But that was on that was on sale, and that's why we got it. <laughs> that's what she tells herself. <laughs> I don't know if this bad boy's ready to come up, but might lose some really good stuff on, yeah. the, on oh, the plate. Look at that, clean as a whistle almost. And now that was because the plate was clean. But look at that Ooh. effect. Oh! Yeah, I'll try to replicate that. Okay, well, so it's, it was start out, you started with the Prussian blue, or one of the dark blues. One of the blues. One of the blues. Yeah, and I think it was this one right here. Okay. Was it that one? It's darker than that. I know the other stuff mixed in, but then um, you put down the purple powder. Then I put down the, yes. Which it held and made those dark blue spots there. But then yeah. when she kept brayering up, it then opened up that bottom area, which then more powder was down there. So that's the lighter purples and stuff. Yeah, and then I put a rose over the top of that. And then finally, <laughs> finally, it's, 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 it's very, it, you can tell, it's got a lot of paint on it. And powder. And powder. <laughs> it's it's heavy. It's important. And, well, look how clean that plate pulled. Now yeah. that, that is, yeah, that's some wonderful stuff there. Okay, what else we got over here? All right, this will be interesting. Okay, so what do we want to use to pull this? Let's look at the other side because that's what we're going to be seeing. Okay, we've got some little greeny gold globby stuff there. <laughs> this was the weird, um, I'm trying to rejuvenate that poor, <laughs> sad, dried up I bit know. that came out of the pot. <laughs> Which I really <laughs> love that color. I'm going to have to mix up some more of that. Well, that's that, I don't, that'll be interesting. Do you have a number on that one? I do. I think it's been altered, but... I might have been. So, so slow. Uh-huh. She does that. I do that. All right. Let's pull this with something matte. Because that way we're going to be able to see the sparklies. So what are we going to use? And it actually has some texture. I can see it. It does. I'm going to use this stuff. Oh. Just this is the fern, right? Isn't it fern? This is fern. Lucas Krill Studio Seven. Fern. 4752. It's like one of my favorite ever colors. And, and she didn't order it. I said, well, because I was trying to hit the, the amount to get the free shipping. <laughs> so I was like, I really like this and think that I thought you would might like it. She does. I love it. It's like my favorite. It's just, you know, it's such a lovely color. It's not really green and it's not really <laughs> yellow. And it's just, it kind of just really happens with whatever it else you and it's, it's it plays nicely with others oh thanks guys for dropping in those those links um that is to our facebook group if you uh want to hang out with us throughout the week and you know all these lovely folks that are here in the chat or most of them are also members of the makers of mixed media art artist facebook group that is the link that the night bot just dropped there Per our request from Candy. Thank you so much. Oh, and actually, um, I will get Judy and the rest of you mods, I will get you a list. And I added some new hashtags in there for, ooh, that's some thunder. I will, um, because I, I added one for, let's see, what did I call it? Um, mineral oil. So hashtag mineral oil. So those of you that asked the question about like cleaning the plate and stuff. It has that link, and then what was the other one? Anne was so, that was such a brilliant idea. I mean, of course, like, duh. What was the other one? Oh, the acrylic plate. And I think that that's what, hashtag acrylic plate. But I will get our mods a new list for the hashtag so you can get those to pop up. <laughs> she says, <laughs> see, there you go, look. <laughs> what is it? added some new so if you drop a hashtag to prompt nightbot to put in information regarding um certain things like the the mineral oil and then i even was able to drop in the link and that is one of our affiliate links another way to help us oh. out which is fantastic yay yeah. 
Brad's like, you, you know you can go in there and do that. I'm like, I know, but usually you handle these sorts of things, but now I know things. Ooh, you guys hear that? I'm hoping this <laughs> redeems this very sad print. <laughs> Fran's fighting with Nightbot. <laughs> is she? It's pink is bad. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so there you go. That, that's how you get the information to come up, and then that way you can click the links as well. <laughs> what you got is, can you see a little bit of the, mm -hmm. the shimmer and shine and whatnot? I kind of like it because it's grody. Yeah, you redeemed yourself on I, that. I think, I think it happened. Yeah. It, oops. Mm -hmm. I'm shoving them in the wrong place here. All right, I'm still waiting for that one bad boy to dry. Don't know. I Just mean, don't know. Well, we're going to have to give away a stencil. We've been sitting at over 100 for quite some time now. Huh? Serious? Maybe we'll do it. I, actually, because we have 30 minutes. I mean, I can pull it up. Dang it. Sugar business. Can't get my paint open here, folks. Gotta <laughs> bring out the jaws. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Should we use? I don't know. Let me see okay. All right. What, what hashtag do you guys think we should use for the uh, stencil giveaway? One hundred. Hashtag one hundred. Okay. I like that. All right. You can start now. Go ahead and start putting in the no, hashtag. Type it in first. Huh? It's got to be typed in first. Okay. I did. I did. I put it in there like that. No. I have a spell out 100. Oh, yeah, okay. Maybe I have to have 100 like that. Okay. With the number. Yeah, so you got to go hashtag 100. Yeah, like Susan Anderson did there. I'll give you guys a moment all to start dropping it in. And then we will give away a stencil because we've been sitting at our 100 for quite some time. I'm very excited. What did I, told, I told you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> did you see it? I did. Yeah, we'll, we'll let it go on for a little up bit. on my here. face when it I did. shut the it's lid. Right, it's right here. On my oh, in between my eyes. <laughs> Just about center. <laughs> well, how cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now this is one of my. Oh, yes. So pretty. I love it. So she calls this Connect the Dots, but the name of the stencil in the shop is. Yeah, if you like really want it. What did we call this one? See, now you've, you've, like, I have a mind block on it now. I don't know. It has something to do with circles. Oh, the art of protein. Protein of art. Something like that, yeah. Now I gotta, I, I'm gonna put in there Connect Look the Dots. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> I mean, this is when you just like, oh my gosh, that stencil looks so good. I don't want to do anything. And you only it. have to do it once, guys. <laughs> I don't think it gives you. <laughs> you got some repeat from Yeah, right? they are. They're, 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 they're like, just in case. <laughs> just in case that one didn't go. Yes. <laughs> you can put it, yeah, just put it in once. That's funny. <laughs> I just think this color is so wonderful. All right, we'll let P put down the paint on this one, and, and then we'll, would well, you care, wipe, wipe your... I'm not going to wipe it. It'll just smear it. Okay. I'm, I'm just going to wait till it dries, and then I'll just pick it off. Right now, you're just going to have to live with me having a... A little white. A gold third eye. Well, it's still kind of white. It hasn't dried fully yet. So, right here. <laughs> Brad's trying to win. <gasps> How can Brad mean. win? He says if he wins, nobody wins. 
Well, that's, that's really going to make you a very popular not fellow. Yeah. Bradley. Dude. <laughs> All right, what are we thinking here? I'm just thinking this purple. Okay, if Brad wins, I'm going to make him pick somebody. That's what I'll do. The odds. That's true. <laughs> Got a lot of people here. That's good. All right, I think things have kind of tapered off. And hello to those of you that are new. And I see Beth. She's new. Hello, Beth. That's awesome. All right, if you do win, um, while she's rolling this out, we can talk about, you know, if anybody else wants to get in there, get your hashtag 100 in there. But um, please do message me either on Facebook or email me. Um, I once we're done here, I will um, I will drop my email address in there. Just let me know so that way I have your address, just in case, you know, if it's somebody that hasn't ordered from us before. And then do keep in mind that we do require on any of the freebies that you do place a regular order. That's part of the deal. You know, that's how it works. That how it works. That's how it works. Well, that's kind of blackmail. I've been watching a lot of murder movies and blackmail She's has been a very, very re <laughs> recurring thing. I'm worried about her. <laughs> I think we need to put a governor on your thing and shut you down. Although she's been going to bed with the baby. And Look that's, at that's this. That's oh beautiful. my gosh. Isn't that going to be Okay, wonderful. we are going to, I'm going to roll it now. Roll it. That's totally fine, Joni. <laughs> that's totally fine. We'll figure it out, but we'll get it. We'll get it too. Drum roll. All right, roll it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? All right, is Lois. Lois, you are our winner. Fantastic. Lucky there. Send it to Ireland. Oh, really? Huh? Oh. Yeah, that's where okay, is. I'm, I'm pulling with beige. All right, and then Lois, I, I have your information, I'm pretty sure. And you're in Maker, so I know I know how to get in touch with you. Well, congrats! That was fun. Go back to the regular stream. Look at us! Woo! Well, Are we hundreding? Yeah, one thirty-six. What? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, Tuesdays, man. I told her that yesterday. I was like, you know, it seems like Tuesdays are hot days. I don't know. What's up with Tuesday? Yeah. All right, now remember we're making paper for our, possibly for our <laughs> project. Yes. We just don't know yet. But, oh my goodness, look There's at that. There's almost your wallpaper. Seriously. That has been an influence on me. I think about it. I mean, I even wrote notes on it. Y'all saw that. It's just like, and that might be how to get that very mm -hmm. irregular. I just need a better way of getting it on there, and I might try that poof and stuff. Yeah, you got your little. Is it in the bathroom? Oh, Mouse wants to know: Is your background different than usual? No, I mean I don't think so. I mean, this is that. It could be just the lighting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. Uh, I've, I've talked about it. <laughs> now that's the first step. Uh -huh. Talking about it. Verbalizing. Yes. Knowing one needs to do something. Well, I haven't felt need yet. I'm kind of like, you know, I'm dancing around the edges of, if I start that process, I've got to figure out. Oh, some bye, Diane find some things to do with some other stuff. Hey, Chris. Oh, I'm not going to pull that oh, because Jude. I yeah, you really need, she want. needs to, here, I'll tell Jude. What? She needs to fast forward. Lost a little bit on the corner there, but I'm not, I'm hating that. I think that's kind of interesting because it was <clears throat> opposite corners. I just didn't get it. <laughs> you kind of have a little, yeah. Yeah, a little archway. Yeah, yeah. yellow bubble. <laughs> it, it looks like, you know, fire through a grate or something. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. 
I, I thought that you know I could I could make that happen. All right, no, I don't really because I don't know what I'm going to do, and if I knew right away what I was going to do, I'd just leave that on there and let uh -huh. that mucky muck just build up and you know whatnot. Leave little spidery things hanging off your. kind of cool looking. <laughs> Maybe what you should do is just unroll all your tape and you can use it for different things. Might be kind of interesting. Absolutely. Okay, we're just going to try a new different color thing here. I want to try this with gold. But I'm going to go ahead and get my color down. And this is matte. Mm -hmm. What color was that? That was one of my very favorite blues that was light phthalo blue i really love that you color. do like that color it just comes in i don't know i really i was getting a little purple there that's all right <laughs> the prayer keeps giving <laughs> the gifts <sighs> diane we feel the same way sometimes with our family members too she says my family is humors me when I show them prints that excite her. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to pull as much off of here as possible because I want to come back in before I take it off and gold it. Uh -huh. Mm, like gold gold it like like gold gold it like give a Mariah the gold that she always wants mm -hmm. <laughs> okay love it I think that will look very sweet that's kind of nice uh -huh. it's kind of glowy I don't yeah. know we're still getting some all right here's iridescent bronze so it has a little bit more punch than the interference Oh, bye, Audrey. Gold. I like this one. This is really the one I want you to use a lot of time and you won't do it. But it looks fantastic with this sort of periwinkle that you got going on. I pulled off a lot more of that mm -hmm. than I really wanted well, to. Well, hopefully it's not going to be in the little outlines. Mm. 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 Some places it is. All right, so what you need to do is when you pull it, maybe pull it with that blue. Or maybe my other blue. I don't know. Anyway, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> And says her, her her family is very good at the oohs and ahs. It's a bit suspicious when they say it without looking up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We understand that. Okay, well, I just smeared a little of that on there because I still had some, and I think that's going to be glowy, yes. and then I'm going to pull it with, um, like... Maybe that blue, the, the, the lighter blue. Maybe the lighter blue. Okay, well, we'll let that just sit for a moment in time and see what else we've got over here to pull off oh let's try this i think it's ready it's had time to ripen well it's interesting we left some little i don't mind that at all though oh look at that isn't that gorgeous Ooh, hoo hoo such deep, you know, rich. Mm-hmm. I like that one. Hammered copper almost. Because of those little, little funky, you know, 52 things that are going on there. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Dramatic. Oh, yeah. Getting some love. Getting some love. <laughs> well, obviously that was not dry is why it stayed down. I'm hurrying a little bit here. This is my favorite plate. <laughs> she has favorites. My she fa doesn't tell the other ones, though. <laughs> <Whisper>. <laughs> I 
it's a six by eight which makes things very and you know it's so weird all of if you just look at the really good prints that I pulled. They're always the six by eight, which then drives me crazy because when we're trying to find prints for those of you that are, you know, part of the loverly. And I want to mat them. Maybe what we should do is just go have some mats made. You know, so it would fit a standard, like you were talking about, like with the whole matting of things. So yes. it, it fits the print, but then fits a standard frame. Absolutely, and that's that's the way you, you do that. Mm -hmm. I would like to do that. Okay. okay, Mariah, I'm using a lot of gold today, and I expect to hear a lot of oohs and ahs with a, with actual looking in looking her in the eyes, oohing and all. Because I think that this is really, I think that this print works nicely for this. Uh huh. And I love the versatility of this of the dots. Connect the dots, aka the art of protein. Protein of art. See, now you got me all messed up on that. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I knew that you would be. I did yeah. that just for you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, we still have a she gave time. me chocolate before the stream and told me that I had to be nice. <laughs> yeah. Or I'm going to. Yeah. There's <laughs> something was, wicked. I was yammering on about Izzy's table over here, which is a hot mess. And I, you know, I, other than me, you know, stepping on her and neck and telling her that she needs to clean it up, that would be the only. And usually, I'm busy doing something. But she, here, it's so weird because here lately at night, she started writing these stories. What did I do with my my new... Oh, yeah, her little books are fantastic. Pink. I've lost it. Mm -hmm. Carrie, I've lost the pink. Oh, your opera? It, ah, there's a little... Here it is. Okay, I was going to say, there's a little shorty one in the back side over here. So. Well, see, it's a darn black lid, and I have to paint it white and then make it... Oh, you... well, that was smart, though. You need to put a white dot on it first. Yeah, I did that with another one I've got over here. Look at you with your big brain. Yeah, I know. I have those moments. <laughs> oh, had a little bit of gold left over there. That's kind of weird. Help build that out. Weird a little. and wonderful. <laughs> now I don't, we've got some other stuff on. I don't know where from whence that came. Oh, here I'll put a link to this. This particular stencil. I'm going to go in and change the name. Okay, we've got to do something here to make this boom. <laughs> it needs it to boom. It needs to boom. Yes, the art of protein. That's what I called it. And then I'm going to AKA I mean, that it. is just so nerdy. Well, I mean, I kind of think of myself to be slightly nerdy. I know, but it's not, it's not like. It's not helpful it's nerdy? It's not arty nerdy. It's just nerdy, nerdy. nerd. <laughs> it's nerdy nerd. It's not the nerd we're looking for. It's not the nerd we're looking for. <laughs> okay, now that's going to be some kind of special stuff right there. Alrighty, i got to hurry up and do something here. Because I've still got some stuff on my... Oh, that was a terrible sound. Check that out. <laughs> there we Look. go. Look. Ooh. Yeah, you're pulling things up. Oh, shadowy? Hmm. Yeah, I think it looks really good. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it and not... Don't mess with Muck that. it up. My hands are mucked up, but... Put it back over there. Put it back over there. Don't put your finger on it. <laughs> Don't finger test it. The ant says, see, nerds shall inherit the earth. <laughs> I love it. No. I, I just, you know, I really do despair of not keeping my paper clean for at least two live streams. <laughs> oh, okay. Setting the mm. bar at two live streams. After that, it's chaos and, you know. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> 
All right. Will she have new paper next week? <laughs> to be continued. Hey, and I, I finally, you know, got down to that because when you get down to the end, it's it's like you you have to yeah get a, a, a thing to hold it down on all four points. This is when you know because it just keeps rolling up and it just and she fights with it. So oh, I just you know, I just want to spit. There's a little smiley face. There. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And this is a semi-transparent, so I'm hoping some of the other loveliness is going to come through there. And I need to shush and get something down. I love the very glowy quality of a transparent paint mm -hmm. next to an opaque gold. Now, see, that really brought out the blue a lot more than I thought it was going to. I was you thought it was going to dull it out? <laughs> a little bit. I'm ha very happy with it. Well, it's, it's nice contrast. Yes. Nice contrast. Okay, what do we got over here that we can... I loved playing with Silly Putty. Remember that? Oh, and then, but I was notorious for getting it stuck <sighs> in carpet and, yeah. She was maddening. <laughs> Okay, we're going to use a little of this because I just, I don't know. I think it might add a bit of mystery and mm -hmm. whatnot because it is opaque. I do love this. This is the other color that Mariah got me. Yeah, I remember um, when she was all meh, meh, meh about it. And, yeah, I knew she'd come, come around. Well, I just, you know, I, the thing I like about it is it just changes its personality. Now, see, I rushed this a little bit. I thought that might get you the effect you were talking about earlier. Perhaps. Perhaps. Oh, we've got, like... I have a mile long list, Lisa, and I think that's lovely. your suggestions are not, you know, not on that list. They are on the list. Just want you to know that. What is it? Lisa sends me suggestions for for stencils all the time, and oh. um, they're fantastic ideas. I just, you know, the time. <laughs> time. Oh, don't do that yet. Yay. Corner. Stop, stop touching it, it. <laughs> picking it off. <laughs> Don't emphasize your corners. It's doing a little corner mending, <laughs> spotting. Okay, well, I'm just gonna leave that alone for a while. Let's see what else we've got up here that we can either pull or. Oh, I think that's too juicy. <laughs> How about looking at that? Oh, here, let's try this one. Oh, it's very shiny. I didn't see it fully, but. Oh, this is the guppy one. Mookie, mookie. Oh, look at those little jobbers out there. <laughs> see a little, little, oh, then they're oh. wet. <laughs> Whoops. I remember, she revived them. <laughs> yeah, I'll put this back over here and let that baby dry before I slap something else down on top of it. And yeah. I'm really angry with myself. All right, here's our tissue. Oh, yes, I'm very excited about this. It continues the, the, the study of the wallpaper. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> we get miles and miles out of that. Oh, your silver's staying. Some of it is. But I think that's going to be okay. Martha says no, no, no. I will not go. Because <laughs> I think that's the Martha that's staying. <laughs> it could be, and it could also be a really, you know, crappy job of getting the tissue paper down on the page without all the five million wrinkles. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's let's talk about this for just a second, because I think that is important. Would you please leave that there? Oh, sure. 
leave that next to the plate and so we can discuss for just a momento here. So you can see that the areas where it wrinkled, where it did not make contact with the plate, because there was a air pocket there. But oh man, this so is that dried to the plate. Yeah. Versus drying to the paper. I mean, this is just some nice and stuff. Look at that. Iridescent y kind of. I don't know where that came from. Oh, that's that. That's your, your iridescent gold, whatever business. You're golden. Yeah. Well, finally, it's showing through. I mean, I never really thought it was like doing anything. Mm -hmm. So, if you wanted to recreate more of that, you could crinkle. Yeah, and I do crinkle. I've got some crinkles back here. In because fact, you can always is, come back. This is the crinkle that I did on the one that I, I showed you earlier. And I am going to try using it again because those crinkles are now painted on, so they're more or less... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you know, they're kind of part of the paper and part of the crinkle. Yeah. So, let's just do that since we've already got that out here. This is, this is the crinkle crackle technique over crinkle crackle that was an accidental. <laughs> wow, say that mm -hmm. fast. Beetles battle in a bottle. <laughs> Poodles in a paddle. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, all right. So what are we going to put down here? Let's put down some of this stuff. Because I think that this has got enough. Because we're still picking up. Can you see that little bit of a glowed? There. Glowed? Glowed. The, a little bit of the glow <laughs> on the edge there. The gold that's glowing. The gold that's glowing. Yeah. Sorry. The dogs will probably start barking. Yeah. You start knocking about around here and they think, because our doorbell doesn't work. <laughs> Which we're very happy about. It's purposeful. I, I have a note on the door to that effect. It's it faded. You oh, wrote really? it in pink. Well, that was all I had. Well. You know, in a household where, you know, there <laughs> are the nine million <laughs> pencils and pens. Of course, they're all upstairs. Well, I hide the good ones downstairs because there's a little girl that thinks that, you know, all markers are hers. I started marking her markers. So, there's less of a tussle about that. Alright, now, because I am going to be pulling quite a bit of this off with my paper, I'm going to just sort of leave that mushy, mushy <laughs> business out there. The mushy business. <laughs> Is that the right side? That's the right side. No. That's the side you want to put there. I think that's right. Just looking at the folds, I can kind of feel like that's... It, Izzy is five. Yes. She's five going on 25 sometimes. Yeah. Because she's handful. <laughs> She's got some ideas about things. Sure does. Well, I don't know if I love that or not. That's, um, you got you, you got almost a signature Patty Tolly swoop. You know how she does the swish of the circle. How is that? Because <laughs> that's how you put your paint out. Oh, if yeah. You don't, if you don't briar it, you got a circle. Well, Patty, there you go. <laughs> See, I was. Let's know in the comments if you were watching. Chan channeling <laughs> you and didn't even know it. Swirly about. I was planning on, you know, mushing that about more, but I was just like, gosh, this is kind of cool. I'm gonna. Okay, well, I, I'm. I was feeling that. I'm. Yeah. We're gonna. I, I don't know what else we're supposed to be doing here. Well, you got one minute. One minute. Okay, one more. <laughs> just one more. <laughs> one more. Just one more. And we were on fire today. Good, good, good stream for sure. Again, for those of you that have come in, you don't really know who's it, what's it, and all that. We are PM Artist Studio. This is our stream. It's about to be ending. But please do come back, watch the replay. Give it a thumbs up, please. Comment in the, in the uh, comment section below, because that's the only place to do it after the live stream. Some people have been asking why is the chat not available right, like, once we end the stream. It takes YouTube a little bit of time to render things, and for whatever reason, during that time, the chat is not necessarily available. But if you come back a little later, it will be. 
it does show up. I don't have that turned off. It's just it's a it's a YouTube kind of thing. <laughs> oh, a schedule one. Oh, look at that. Brad did put that one in there. That's good. Well, this paper's turning out to be really nice. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> I, I don't, don't know. If it, I like what it left back there because it, it transferred some. Coloring. Oh, it did. Well, you shouldn't be looking at that side. You should be looking at this yeah. side. So that'll be a fun little crackle business to deal with on Thursday. Well, she'll probably pull it by then, but... Look at how wonderful that is. See, these are the ones that I made the little twisty do's, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The... Pinched it and twisted the paper. <laughs> it's a paper twister. A paper twister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm liking that a lot. All righty. Well, so on thursday hopefully we'll have um you know more idea on the sculpture thing he just hasn't gotten fired up about it yet so i'm waiting on her just to tell me what to do <laughs> just take something and it's just you know sometimes it's just the weirdest little something yeah it hasn't hasn't happened yet but i've got a lot i mean i'm getting a lot of ideas and a lot of stuff that I think I can work with because even something like this I think if I were to go over this mm -hmm. with the modeling paste the texture paste mm -hmm. I think maybe that's what we should explore a bit on Thursday as more of the texture paste stuff maybe sprays if you can texture paste some stuff before Thursday then we can do the spray things kind of like what we did with vine love but let's do something a bit more dramatic Okay. Something different. That'll be fun. Well, I definitely, yes, I definitely, I'm definitely feeling that it does need to be different. I, I'm liking this idea of staying within the neutral range of things yes. for a while. I don't know that I want to be there forever, but um, I'd like to pursue that before we get into doing polychrome. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys, once again, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you on Thursday. Bye. Bye.